Attack that slut here again. I've begun dismantling the engine. I know we said we probably weren't going to do much, but uh, we had some time and we want to see what we're working with. So there won't be any assembly for a while, but we can dismantle at least a fair chunk of it. And the story keeps getting more and more interesting. So first things first, it looks like these pistons might have been new when the engine was reassembled. It was not reassembled correctly, at least in our opinion. Uh, one of the head bolts, which is the one in the back there, is broken. We have rust down the majority of the other head bolts. These ones here, absolute shockers, can't use them. We'll bugger them off. There is rust inside the engine. So that's not good, but it should be repairable. When we pull this side off, it's gonna be interesting because we know for a fact that this piston is not playing the game. So we'll have to have a look at that one. The control rings on this one are seized. They're not popped out like they should be on this one. One over here, getting dizzy running around the engine. This one here is completely broken. What's interesting is I found the rest of it down there, which is, oh, put it somewhere, over here. So this is the rest of it, and I pulled it out from in there, which can only mean one thing. It was broken while being reassembled. So, yay team. <laughs> uh, the bit that concerns us is this engine's been overheated. So you can see this blowing on these cylinders here. That's the color it should be over here. And the middle ones are very blued. When we go and look at our water seals, this is how they should be. Squishy. This is nice and hard. And we got it from this one here, right in the middle. How about that? Looking right next to it, it doesn't take much for the combustion to escape. And it looks like that's exactly what's happened. So at some point, the current hypothesis that Peter has is the engine was not bolted down correctly. It was spun up. The water seals failed, these ones here, and it overheated the engine. So, yeah, we're going to have to have a look at that. These, despite having been overheated, these are actually pretty good. So we're quite happy with them. We've already measured them up, and they seem to be the standard bore size. So we can absolutely reuse them. We're quite happy about that. Whether or not we need to pull parts off the other engine is uh, yet to be decided, but it looks to be that way. Now, while pulling other crap off it, including the, uh, the dodgy wiring loom, when we open, this goes on the other side of the magneto. This is the cap. We've got nice burns in the side. <laughs> so here, and here, and there, and there, and there, and on the other side, there. So that's been mistimed completely. So more problems there. The other one's not much better, but it's, it's under there. Fortunately, we're not going to be using them again because they're non-original spark plug leads, but they might work for something else. Heading over here. These are our magnetos that we pulled off. This one's rusty. Probably won't do much with it because that's crap. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, the one of these was not when we spun it over wasn't opening. So again, 
not timed correctly, not set up correctly. I know I said in my last video that these are pretty bulletproof. Uh, that is, unless you don't know what you're doing, which is apparently this one. This one's a little bit better. It's not rusted completely out. So we can probably reuse this one. But again, one of the points, uh, just these ones. Ugh, it's all behind there. Uh, the points weren't opening on one side. So again, hasn't been properly set up or cleaned or anything that is needed for the correct uh, working of an engine. We did pull apart one of the pumps and one of the seals was gone, well not gone, but completely shot. So that's, uh, again, telltale sign that this has just been a rush job. I really couldn't tell you what the person who assembled this was trying to do. It looks like it's got a brand new bottom end and shitty top ends or one or the other. <laughs> it's really hard to tell. Um, but they didn't put it back at all the way they should. And the other side we can imagine is going to be just as bad, if not worse. Uh, as I already mentioned, we've got another broken head bolt in this one. Not going to be able to see much. Um, so that's going to be pretty bad. We have no idea what the condition is going to be on this one, but it's going to be a fun little adventure that we go on together. Yeah. Very, very interesting setup. But that's why we do it. And fortunately, we have an entire new set of tops. So the current plan might be to just clean these ones up and use them instead. That way, we don't really have to bother going through the circus of completely stripping the other one down and repairing every little problem because we know this one's in pretty good condition. Uh, I think some of you asked what was actually wrong with this one and there's quite a bit of rust. You can't really see it but uh, through the middle here. It's all rusted so it looks really nice from this angle but it's actually not that great, so we'll have to do something about that. Uh, and these are the bores that came out of that one, and we're probably not going to use them. That one's actually not too bad, but this one's... So, yeah. There you have it. That's probably going to be the last update on this engine for a little while. I might put up some little shorts, but that'll be about it until we come back and do it all again so yeah hit the like and subscribe as always uh i'm assuming the next video might be something on gunnery we'll see what i get up to in the meantime so yeah there you go more problems with more engines see you in the next one bye